Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a game played between Jean-Jacques Rousseau and David Hume. For those who do not know, Rousseau was a Swiss-born philosopher, writer and political theorist whose treatises and novels inspired the leaders of the French Revolution and the Romantic Generation, and David Hume was a Scottish philosopher, historian and economist. This game was played in 1765 and this was a casual game. And now, without further ado, let's go for the game and see what happened in the battle of two famous philosophers. Rousseau opened up with e4 and d6 by whom? Knight f3, knight d7, bishop c4, e5, d4. With a transposition of moves we reached a well-known position from the Philidor defense. Here the most popular moves are e takes d4 or c6, but in our game we have c5. A bad move after which white is managing to get advantage, knight c3 and a terrible mistake, bishop e7, after which Rousseau played queen d5 with a direct mating threat. Knight h6 and here comes bishop takes h6, white is removing the defender and again is creating a mating threat. Black castled king's side and white simply moved back his bishop and white has an extra piece. Queen b6 and instead of castling queen's side, which is the best move, Rousseau captured on e5, which is a mistake and could give black a slight edge, although black didn't use his chance and captured on b2. The best move was knight takes e5, and if queen takes e5 then bishop f6. And now if you move back your queen then queen takes b2 is coming, and if a move like knight d5, which is the best move, then simply queen a5 check, and after bishop d2, Black can win back the lost piece and then can capture on e5. And although white has still advantage, but this could allow black to fight back and prolong his resistance. But in our game after knight takes e5, we have queen takes b2. And knight takes f7. White goes for a very tricky line, but this is a mistake. It was better to castle king's side. We have knight takes f7 and queen takes a1 check. Another mistake by black, queen takes c3 could have allowed black to equalize the game. If king e2 then queen takes c2 check. And if king f1 then knight f6 and all white can do is to give a perpetual check. By the way, you can't go for a smothered mate because black will win the queen with the knight, will keep the rook on f8, which will successfully cover the f7 square. And also, by the way, after queen takes c2 check, you can't play king f3 because black has a very beautiful queen takes c4 move. If queen takes c4, then knight d5 is coming. Yes, this can be winning for black. Let's go back, but in our game, after knight takes f7, we have queen takes a1 check. King d2 and queen takes h1. After which, Rousseau brought into life this classical example of a smothered mate. He first announced a double check by playing knight h6 and after king h8 he sacrificed his queen on g8. And after rook takes g8 we have a smothered mate on the board. Look at this. Rousseau first sacrificed both rooks and then the queen and smothered the enemy king. A beautiful finish, although both players made a lot of mistakes, but as this was played between two famous philosophers, that was the reason that I covered this game. Thanks for watching, for more games consider subscribing to my channel, also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video.